This is a Love Life Horoscope Tarot reading for Aquarius from February 23rd to March 9th, 2022. Let's get to it. What do we got going on for you and your love interest at the beginning of this time period? The Chariot. The Fool card. And the Five of Pentacles. Wow. You are dealing with someone that you're you're feeling left out in the cold here. This love interest may have left you out in the cold. They're pursuing something. They may not know, but it's kind of like they're they're pursuing something that is is a bit of a risk here. Let's clarify this this fool and actually yeah, let's clarify the fool. For them, regrets. For you, equilibrium. Yeah, the status quo isn't changing here. Like you're, you're not coming in from out of the cold. Well, at the beginning of this time period, you're not. They're doing something that is a bit of a risk, taking a leap of faith. But it's, it's a very bold move. It's kind of like they know that they're doing something that isn't good, but they're they're driven to do it. They have to do it. And it's outside of this connection. <laughs> the lovers just came up in reverse. Let's clarify. Let's clarify this chariot for them. Like you may be dealing with a cancer or another Aquarius. Hmm, somebody with light hair, perhaps. Somebody that, somebody that is very fashionable. It, it's someone that that is. It, it's kind of like like they're they're moving towards a spiritual direction. I'm getting, so they are very spiritual. It's this energy where they know that they're doing something that is of great risk. Something, but. It, it's like they think that everything will work out if they just believe that it will. Huh. Let's clarify this chariot. Yeah. The Knight of Wands. Two of Pentacles. And the Queen of Wands. <laughs> Somehow this person, whatever they're doing here, they're doing something to, to get your interest. They're not doing this for themselves. They're doing this for the connection. Something, they're putting themselves in a predicament, but at the same time, they, they think it's all going to play out well because it's kind of like they're... <sighs> It's as long as something looks good from the outside, then they can persuade you somehow. Persuade you into that they're making some they're taking an action that they know is not good, but they, they think that somehow it's gonna play out well for this connection. So this is someone that's playing hard to get. Someone that, that wants you to, to see them as being very attractive, very reckless in a sense. But it's something to do with persuading you towards them. Like they're moving away. This is someone that wants to come towards you, wants to get you, but they're moving away so that you, you chase after them situation here where you're left out in the cold on purpose so that you chase after them. A bit of manipulation going on. 
because what, what they're going for it isn't really what they're intending here that they're, they're 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 doing something to make it seem like it's not I want to clarify I want to clarify this two of pentacles here actually no I want to clarify this knight of wands for them merits for you or for the outside influence merits for them materialism they're doing something because they think it's going to get them what they want. They want you. Somehow they're using something from the outside that will give them leverage over this connection, over making you come towards them. But it's, it's a very superficial thing. It's very, it's meant to look like something it's not. What effect is this going to have on you in the next two weeks? Because we, we don't see that anything's changing. This person may have had you out in the cold for a while. Let's see what's changing here in the next two weeks in this connection. The Eight of Cups, Two of Wands, and the Six of Swords. Yeah, whatever they're doing is not going to have the, the effect. So you're not coming in from out of the cold. That's staying the same in the next two weeks. In a way, you can't be fooled by what this person is doing because it's, it's a cycle that you've already went through. It's some sort of hardship you've already suffered. So you're very definite in what you will and you won't do with the Six of Swords. You're moving in a direction and you know where you're going. This person, they, they want to fix like the two of pentacles to the two of wands. They want to change things like what they're doing is they're, they're trying to create a change so that you, you come back to them, right? But at the same time, they're doing it from this place that they, they know they're heading towards a place that they don't want to be. So that you'll, you, you'll come to them. They're doing something manipulative so, so that it changes your direction, but it, it's not going to have that effect. Hmm. What did you go through that, that made you realize that you can't, you can't fall for this? For them? Integrity. For you? Tradition. Yeah, you went through something that, that you realized it made you understand what's right and what's wrong. Like you have this understanding that what this person is doing here is not, you, you've gone through this, you've learned the lesson. This is not something that you're going to revisit because you, you have developed this understanding of integrity as a result of, of learning a hard lesson. Tradition, integrity. Yeah, this person may not, should not even try this approach. How can this person get you to come towards them? Let's ask that. What's, what's the right approach this person should be taking if they want to get you? Temperance. Strength card. And the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. This person just, it's almost like, like they just need to, like the best thing they can do right now is to bless you with time. Like that's what you want. You need time for yourself here from this connection. If they, if they want to bring strength back into this connection, they, they need to allow you to do, to give you time to, 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 Let's clarify this Ace of Pentacles. For them, independence. For you, constancy. Yeah, you, you kind of want your own time away from this. Something is not changing. Clearly, this reading is letting us know that somebody is coming back from the past, trying to influence you to, to be with them, but you don't want to be with them. So this is more for 
that cross watcher that's trying to get get you back. The best thing that they, they can do here is, is to leave you alone, is to just give you your time. Because in the next two weeks, you don't really want to, to engage with them. Hmm. In the extended, we'll look into the random love generated questions. I don't even look at them beforehand, but the way they come up is really interesting. First one is, what secret came between you in the past? Yeah, there's something that you, you learned from. We'll ask, how does the love interest view you at the moment, at the moment that you're watching this? How can you prepare for the arrival of the love interest? Huh, that's interesting. And we'll ask, how will the next love offer be accepted? So we're going to dive a little bit deeper into this. Clearly, they want you, but they're not going about it the right way. Perhaps in time that there will be the right love offer. So we'll look into that. How will the next love offer be accepted? All right. The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love.